I often tell the students, this isn't sandbox archaeology. This is real archaeology, right? So we have a research design. We're employing professional professional approach to it, and um, this is this is an opportunity for them to actually practice what they've been learning in the classroom. As you can see, our uh, our unit has a lot of stones and obstacles, so. <laughs> I guess it teaches you patience as well. Yeah, it's 10 hours a day, 10 plus hours a day working, and working in the lab and in the field. It's, you really get a lot, and they set very high standards. So when people go out in the field, there's a lot of weight that comes with the name Fort St. Joseph. It's so artifact rich. The community here is amazing. Um, you just don't find sites like this or communities like this that support this kind of large scale endeavor just anywhere. It's really something special. It really is. It's unlike anything else. We get experience talking to the community. We get experience getting our hands literally and figuratively dirty, getting out there and, and learning firsthand. Um, and like Dr. Nisani says, you know, literally uncovering history at the tip of our travel. That may or may not be a bone. We haven't pulled it out yet. It's not even just feeling like the scientific aspect of the soil changes. It's touching it and like getting your hands on it and knowing you're the first person to touch this in 200 years, the connection that you have to those people from 200, 300 years ago is not something that every person gets to do. To be able as an undergraduate to come out, and I think, to a local site like this, and say, you know, the, the, the idea is you have to go to Egypt or Mesoamerica or the Southwest to do archaeology. No, you can do archaeology in your backyard, literally. And I can honestly say uh, this is unlike any other experience that I've ever had. Um, and I really feel like I'm in the right place.